Welcome back. Uh, it's been a couple of days, so I thought I'd do another video. Uh, one of my subscribers uh, suggested doing some brazing. Uh, I had mentioned on one of the uh, rebuilds when I rebuilt this steering box that the actual steering column that covers up the shaft has a big crack in it. And I was originally going to weld it because uh, my father-in-law has access to a welder. Um, but somebody suggested brazing, uh, and I had never brazed before, so I thought, hey, why not? So we'll see how well this goes, and uh, this is not going to be a brazing how-to by any means, uh, since I am still learning. Um, so yeah, let's see where this goes, and uh, maybe you'll learn something along the way. So here's our steering column. Um, you can see I went ahead and stripped away the paint uh, and you can see that there's a pretty good crack right along here. Uh, I've cleaned this up as best I could. There was still some residual grease inside the steering column, um, but that hopefully won't be too big of an issue. So I've prepped this, I've stripped the paint away. And using a Dremel with just a, a grinding bit, I went and I cut a channel around where this crack is so that the brazing rod will have a spot to flow to. And uh, this is a brazing rod. I just picked it up at Home Depot. It has flux already on it. Um, and supposedly all you gotta do is get this hot and it should flow, it should be kinda like soldering but just hotter. Uh, and to do that you can use Mab Gas. Uh, propane won't work and I should have enough. Uh, but this will get hotter than propane. Uh, some people use oxyacetylene uh, I don't have that, so this is what we're going to use. Um, do this in a well-ventilated area if you're going to do this, and uh, yeah, let's see, how, let's see how this see how this goes. So basically. My experience with this, trying to do this, was that the map gas didn't get, I was not able to concentrate the heat in a small enough area to keep the column uh, hot enough and to melt the brazing rod in a way that was inducive to making that brazing rod want to flow onto the steering column. It, it kind of worked. Uh, I think it had something to do with the fact that the column was so large that it, the surrounding metal from where I was trying to heat acted as a heat sink that sucked away a lot of that heat uh, before the brazing rod could get hot enough to melt and flow. But I think if I had used something uh, that could concentrate that heat a little bit better, either a smaller, uh, smaller tip on the torch or a better maybe something like oxyacetylene that has a better way of controlling and manipulating that heat uh, that probably would have worked better. I was able to get it to work. It's not the prettiest and as I'll point out here in the next clip uh, when you get a close-up, I, I kind of came up with the same conclusion but um, basically this is a just a more in-depth explanation of that. Uh, I ended up having to try and find the hottest part of the flame and kind of move it around and kind of manipulate it and it kind of worked but it, it's not the best so. Well, after, after much heat and many many attempts I have something that resembles brazing. It's pretty, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Uh, some of, I don't think, I would not suggest trying to do this with map gas. I just don't think it gets hot enough. Um, cause this thing was pretty much, 
I mean red hot. And that brazing rod just did not want to flow. So I'm gonna blame I'm gonna blame the gas, because clearly it couldn't have been my fault. So So I'll try and clean this up with a file and maybe that'll get some maybe that'll make it look a little better. Thankfully I'm gonna repaint this whole thing anyway, so you won't see my, my terrible brazing job. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.